the word polymer which has been derived from the two greek word poly means many and mer means unit the process by which monomers are converted into polymers which we call it as what polymerization biodegradable polymers are those which contains a functional group are similar to the functional group present in a biopolymer hello my dear students a warm welcome you all myself is purnima a lecturer in department of chemistry at vidyashram pri university college temple of excellence mysore my dear students today we are going to start with the revision for the unit 15 polymers okay let us see what is polymers and what does this unit consists of okay as we are already know that the word polymer which has been derived from the two greek word poly means many and mer means unit okay many units if they combine to form a, a molecule or we can say a largest macro molecule which we call it as what polymers okay so the term polymer which is defined as very large molecule having higher molecular mass you can see that molecular mass will be uh, 103 to 107 mu and these are also called as what macro molecules okay and which are formed by joining repeated structural units in a large scale you can understand this by looking at with the diagrams okay so e usually the polymers are obtained by a, a a simplest molecules which we call it as what monomers okay when these monomers are joined themselves and it can form a straight chain or branch chain or a cross chain you know that we call it as what polymers okay each single unit are called as what monomers they combine themselves and forms a large molecule which we call it as what polymer this process which we call it as what polymerization okay so polymerization is a process of preparing the polymer from the monomer okay the repeating structural units are derived from simplest reactive molecule which is known as what monomers they are linked to one another by a covalent bond this formation of polymers from respective monomers which we call it as what polymerization so what is polymerization it is nothing but a preparation of polymer from the monomers what are monomers monomers are the simplest reactive molecule okay and uh, in this unit you are going to study about more about the natural polymer as well as with the synthetic polymer which we are using in our daily life what are its preparation and where do we use such kind of synthetic polymer that is also we are going to study in detail okay next from this unit we can expect six marks in the part a we can expect the one one mark question as well as in the part t okay we can expect one five mark question so that is why i'm going to discuss with both one mark two mark as well as with the three mark question because the five mark question can be split into three plus two okay so as i told you uh we can expect the question based upon the preparation okay so we'll see uh, which are the monomers are used in a particular preparation if i say that which are the monomers are used in a preparation of bunion or bunyase or neoprene okay you must know that each and every preparation and the monomers which are used for that polymerization process okay and particular example and its application part also you must know it okay let us discuss uh important one mark question which has been repeatedly raised okay so the first question will be goes like this what is polymerization as i told you it is a process of preparation of polymer from the monomers the process by which monomers are converted into polymers which we call it as what polymerization next what are elastomer it is a kind of polymer okay elastomers are the rubber like solid which has elastic property and in this polymer the chain are held together by weak van der waals force of attraction and this weak 
bonding forces which permit the polymer to stretch. Example, vulcanized rubber, bunion, bunions and neoprene are the example. So these are the elastomers are nothing but rubber only. Okay, have you all seen the rubber? Okay, uh, this rubber, you know, they are elastic in nature. That is mainly because between the monomers, you know, you can see that there is a very weak intermolecular force of attraction will be there. That is why when we stretch a rubber band, you know, it will get stretched because of the weak intermolecular force of attraction. Examples are bunion and bunions, and this is will be known as what elastomer. Next, what are synthetic polymer? As I said. There are two types of polymers will be there, synthetic polymers and the natural polymers. Natural polymers are those polymers which we can directly obtain from the plant and animal sources. Whereas synthetic polymers are those polymers which are prepared by human beings. Okay. Synthetic polymers are the man-made polymers which are synthesized in the laboratory or it can be prepared in the industries and it can be used for our daily life. Name the monomers of Bakelite. So, to prepare a bakelite, you know, which monomer you are using, that is also very important. You are using phenol and formaldehyde. So, and we know that how to write the structure of phenol, that is benzene ring with OH and formaldehyde HCH. Next, name the monomer of nylon 6. Or they can ask you, name the monomer of nylon 6, 6 also. Okay. So, the monomer of the nylon 6 is caprolactam okay the monomer of uh, nylon 6 is caprolactam next question we'll go with the two mark question explain the preparation of buna n remember buna n is a synthetic polymer and it is a elastomer too okay buna n is obtained by copolymerization of 1,3 butadiene with the acrylon nitrile in presence of peroxide as a catalyst and remember buna n are resistant to the action of petrol and it is a, a lubricating oil and also it is a organic solvent so what are the uses of it you know it is used to mm, make the oil seals and tank lining okay so you can see that preparation here so we have taken 1 comma 3 butadiene. So when do we say it is 1 comma 3 butadiene between the 1 and 3rd carbon atom, you know, we can find the double bond. So you can see 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So there are 4 carbon atoms will be there. I will write it once again. CH, CH and CH2. You can see that this is my first carbon atom. Okay. To the first and to the third carbon atom, since they have a double bond, we can name it as what? 1 comma 3 buta diene. Why it is diene? There are two bonds are there. So it is 1 comma 3 buta diene. And we have a acrylonitrile. We have a acrylonitrile. And we, we were following the copolymerization. There are two types of polymerization. We have addition polymerization and copolymerization. It, in addition polymerization, you know, same type of the polymers we are going to add and we are going to eliminate the simplest molecule. Okay. But in the copolymerization, you know, we can take the same uh, monomers or we can take the different monomers. When we are couple them, you know, we can eliminate the simplest molecule like water, ammonia and HCl and we will get a polymerized product. That process which we call it as what? Polymerization. So, you know what will happen here? This double bond will be broken up and even this double bond will also get broken up and it forms CH2 single bond and between the third and second uh, carbon atom, you know, we can get the double bond. So, you can see that this is a fourth one, third, second and this is a first one, correct? So, between the first, uh, between the third and first carbon atom, double bond has been removed but we have placed the double bond between the second and the third carbon atom and this uh, CH2, okay, a double bond CH, this bond also get broken up to form CH2CH and CN, okay. This process of eliminating the double bond and also, you know, we have placed a double bond between the third and second carbon atom to balance the valency of the carbon atom, thereby, you know, we are getting the buna N, okay. Why I have written the N here? N number of times if you couple, 
1.3 butadiene with the acrylonitrile, we will get a buna N. Okay. Next, explain the preparation of neoprene. So, this is also most of the times it has been repeatedly asked. Neoprene or a polychloroprene is formed by free radical polymerization of chloroprene and it has superior resistance to the vegetable and mineral oil. So, where do we use this? It is used in manufacturing of conveyor belts and gaskets and house. You can see that how do we write the chloroprene or 2 chloro 1 comma 3 butadiene. So, how do we I can write? So, I can name this as 1, 2, 3 and 4. As I said, it is a chloroprene and it is nothing but to the second carbon atom or I can number it in this way. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. To the second position, you know, I have added chlorine and you can see that the first and the third carbon atom is having a double bond. Hence, I can write 2 chloro 1 comma 3 butadiene. So, can you all write the structure once again? CH2 C Cl single bond CH2 CH and CH2. You can see this, this is my first carbon atom, this is my second, third and fourth. One and three carbon atom are having double bond and also it is having a substrate group as called as chlorine on the second carbon atom. Upon polymerization, what will happen? Again, this bond will broken up, this bond will get broken up and there will be a formation of new double bond between the second and third carbon atom which lead into the formation of what? Neoprene. Okay. Next. What is volcanization of rubber? So, the process of heating the natural rubber with the sulfur or the sulfur containing compound about 415 Kelvin for few hours in order to give a strength and elasticity to the rubber, natural rubber which we call it as what? Volcanization. Okay. So, you must remember that how volcanization will be done. So, they will take the natural rubber and they will started heating okay when they starting heating you know with the substrate uh, uh, and also they'll add a sulfur as a one of the substrate for that okay so this sulfur atoms you know go and place inside the uh, natural rubber and increases the strength as well as the elastic nature of the rubber this process which we call it as what vulcanization they can ask this vulcanization of the rubber for one mark as well as for two marks if they ask you to write for two marks you must write in a words for the one mark and you must write the structure of natural rubber along with that how they have added the sulfur atom to get the vulcanized rubber okay next question what are biodegradable and non-biodegradable polymers so the main intention of a preparation of polymer is to degrade by the degrade by the bacteria which is formed in the nature correct so this can be broadly classified into two types biodegradable and non biodegradable if the polymers are completely degraded by the action of bacteria you know then we say it is biodegradable if it is not completely degraded by the action of bacteria then only we can say it is non biodegradable let us see with the particular example for this biodegradable polymers are those which contains a functional group are similar to the functional group present in a biopolymers example polyhydroxybutyrate cohydroxyvalerate and we can simply uh, note it as phbv polyhydroxybutyrate and cohydroxyvalerate okay next a large number of synthetic polymers which are resistant to the environmental degradation process and responsible for accumulation of the polymer solid or a waste material and causes the environmental problems are also called as what non-biodegradable polymers example nylon, polythene or terylene etc. Okay, so remember whatever the uh, plastic item which we use in our daily life which is not completely degraded by the action of bacteria, they are non-biodegradable. But few polymers which are also having a functional group which can easily get biodegradable by the biopolymers, hence it is known as what? Biodegradable polymers. Remember the example PHBB that is polyhydroxybutyrate cohydroxyvalerate. Okay. So, in addition to this, you know, we can expect any of the preparation as I have taken only with a few example like a neoprene, bunion or bunions, you can take with the nylon 6 or the nylon 6s. There are plenty of preparations will be there in this unit. We can expect any of this question 
for the two mark and remember all this preparation with the monomers with the reusers are very much important for the one mark okay hope you all understood with this unit i'll come back with the one more unit till that take care and be safe thank you